Hey guys, it's Arshalita. Welcome back to my channel. You know, the holidays are approaching and it's so hard to stay motivated, period. So today, I'm gonna share with you five ways for writers to stay motivated during the holidays. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna find out five ways for writers to stay motivated during the holidays, Stay tuned. If you are anything like me, during the holidays is probably the most chaotic, hectic time of the year. Because not only are you trying to figure out what you're gonna do, where you're gonna go, gifts to buy, spending money you don't have, then you also are concerned about all of your writing projects. There are some things that we can do to stay motivated during the holidays as we're trying to get through all of our writing. And I'm gonna share those things with you today. The first thing that writers can do to stay motivated during the holidays is to get up early. I know, I know. I know that getting up early sounds like something that's sacrilegious, but it does make a difference. You know, I wasn't always a morning person. I was the night owl. I would stay up super late writing, getting things done, and it didn't bother me at all. It wasn't until my full-time job changed that I had to become a morning person. It was in 2015 when I started working remotely and the time change was different. I had to be on central time even though I was in another time zone. So that meant I had to get up super early. Doing that conditioned me to become a morning person. So if you are not a morning person, you can condition yourself to do that. You can start off really small. If you normally say get up at seven, try getting up at 6.45, just 15 minutes earlier. And you can use that 15 minutes to get yourself prepared for the day. Or you can do some writing, or you can do some reading. You can start your, your prayer routine. Whatever it is that you start doing when you get up in the morning, then try to just get up gradually, like 15 minutes earlier. Then you can move to 30 minutes earlier and get to a time that works for you that you can start a good schedule. Getting up early really sets the tone for my day. You know, it's, it's nice and quiet in the house. I can look at my to-do list, figure out what I need to do. I have time to just get myself in order to breathe and prepare myself for the day. The second thing that writers can do to stay motivated during the holidays is to actually leave the house. You know, a lot of my motivation for writing, whether it's a poem or an article or a blog, whatever I'm working on, a lot of my motivation and inspiration comes away from the desk. I actually leave and go somewhere else to pull information. Now, if you are able to go into a coffee shop or a bookstore and just have a seat, change your scenery. You know, if you're always writing at home, then try writing from a different place. If you're always writing from your desk and you, you know, don't wanna go anywhere and still stay at home, then try writing from a different area in your house. Get outside, take a walk, get some fresh air, take in everything, all the scenery, people, everything, and I guarantee you that you'll be inspired and motivated to write. The third thing that writers can do to stay motivated during the holidays is to be social. You know, in this time of COVID, you know, we're not getting out as much as we used to, even though it's a lot better than it was maybe a year ago, we're still not able to do all the things that we used to do. And for writers, many of us belong 
to writing groups that we would meet up with maybe once a month or even once a week in person. But I know for me, uh, my writing group meets once a week online. Even online, having that community, having that interaction with other writers is priceless. It really helps to keep you focused, it helps keep you accountable, and it helps you to talk with other writers who are going through the same things you're going through. Writers understand writers. Don't be afraid to reach out to other writers, even if you don't belong to a writing group. Reach out to other writers and find out what they're doing to stay motivated because you might find yourself with someone that you can write with uh, online. The fourth thing that writers can do to stay motivated during the holidays is to stay active. Okay, stay active. And what that means is even though it's during the holidays, it's a really great time for you to figure out um, a writing class you can take or maybe a webinar or some type of course that will benefit you in your writing. We have a lot of downtime during the holidays, so it's a perfect time to just take action with the things that you really want to do. Maybe there's some things that you're lacking in your writing or maybe there's a particular genre that you want to start writing in perfect time to take some classes. There are a lot of free things out there that you can take that will help benefit you as a writer. Don't be afraid to research those things right in your community. Sometimes they have things posted at the library or a community center where you can take creative writing classes or some other type of class that will help keep your skills current, teach you a new skill, and just keep you active during the holidays. The fifth thing that writers can do to help stay motivated during the holidays is to stop being so hard on yourself. You know, even though we do have a lot of downtime during the holidays, there is also that hustle and bustle that goes on inside of your head. And you may be traveling a lot this year, maybe not, but don't be hard on yourself if you don't do everything you intended to do during the holidays. Maybe you set a goal that you want to complete your manuscript or complete a certain number of chapters in your book or write so many poems or write so many blog posts to get you to the end of the year. And if those things don't happen, don't beat yourself up. You are doing the best that you can do. We all are doing the best that we can do. All we can do is put our best foot forward and keep it moving. So I hope that these five ways for writers to stay motivated has given you some ideas and has really helped to get your head in that game of staying motivated. It's really hard, but with a little intention, it can be done. Make sure you guys go to my website, arshaladachism.com to get your Fearless Ink merch. Get your t-shirts now, and I will be having a Black Friday sale. I will be sharing more about that next week, and I will put some links down below so that you can go to the website. I'll also include a link down below for the Fearless Ink podcast. <laughs> it is for writers and for anyone who wants to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, guys. See you soon.